everyone and welcome to my new dolly paint video and today guys we are going to make a color changing doll really for the very first time on my channel i've never made anything like this but lately i've bought a whole bunch of color changing doll hair and today i will try to make something fun and hopefully amazing out of it but let me show you this hair first and what exactly it does how exactly it changes the color that you have kind of better idea what i'm talking about and then later i will explain you my idea my vision for this project. So look, these are three different shades of photochromic doll hair. I know they all look kind of the same white right now, but look what will happen when I activate the special effect of this hair with ultraviolet rays. And I will use my lamp for curing gel nail polish as an UV source, so check it out. I don't know guys, I think it's magic. It's real magic and this is it. It looks so cool, such a cool special effect. I think it's gonna be a very cool project today. So I think I want to make a very pale doll today, she will have very pale skin, this white hair, a white dress, and then once I activate this special photochromic effect, this doll will all become colorful. And that's actually a pity that I already made two different Persephone dolls here on my channel, because this is a perfect concept for a goddess of spring, who is like all pale in the winter, and then she starts blossoming once the sun touches her skin and her outfit. But anyway, I don't have to make exactly Persephone doll because there are different other spring goddesses in the world. So I think I will make Flora. She's a spring goddess from Roman mythology. So I think it's gonna be a very cool concept, a very cool project today. And that's why guys, let's immediately start working. I cannot wait to see how it's all gonna look on my doll. Of course, please don't forget forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos, and of course please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. And this being said, let's start working. I've decided to use Frankie for this makeover because I want my finished doll to look super cute and Frankie has a really cute face mold, I really love Frankie. So let's remove everything, like this doll's outfit, cut her hair off, remove her face with pure acetone, all these things that I normally do in the beginning of my projects, and then it'll give her new color changing hair.
And you know, I think I want to mix all these three colors on her head. It will look more interesting in the end, or I hope so at least. I don't know, I've never tried it before. So now let's take my rerouting tool and let's give her new hair combining all these three colors. Okay, this is how it looks a couple of hours later, so now let's use a lamp to activate the color, let's see what I've made. Oh yes, it looks so beautiful, <laughs> really, it looks really beautiful, I'm obsessed with this effect, so cool. But this effect doesn't really stay that long, the color is starting to become pale already in a minute probably, it's very quickly fading away, but it looks really pretty and it also looks really fun and it's actually also called glow in the sun effect, as an opposite to glow in the dark. So good, now let's add some tacky glue inside of the head to keep all this new hair in place. Then I will let it dry for a couple of days and then I will seal her face with Mr. Super Clear sealant. And after this I can start drawing her face using soft pastels and watercolor pencils. So I want my doll to be very pale, with very light eyes and with very soft lip color and I also want to give her light purple eyeshadows. But you know I don't want it to be very bright saturated purple, otherwise it will be Ursula from the, my last video. Vice versa, I want it to be like a color of dry purple flowers, you know, that you've collected a year ago when you still can see the original color, but it's not that bright anymore. So I think it will look very cool on this doll and to reach this effect I will apply first yellowish pastels to her eyelids and then on top of this yellow I will layer the purple color and then as a result I hope I will get a murky grayish light purple.
Okay, the face is almost done. I will still add some special effects to it later, but right now I can move on with the project. And normally the next step would be blushing her body with soft pastels to make it the same color like the face. But you can see that this doll somehow has a little bit of different body. So I'll first use it to make a dress to be sure that this dress fits perfectly. Because you can clearly see the difference between this body and the regular Monster High body. The proportions and the shapes are slightly different. I don't know why, <laughs> like I've never seen it before. So I'm not really sure if a dress made for a typical Monster High doll would fit this a little bit unusual Frankie. So let's make the dress first. And the dress I will make out of this white tulle fabric. I want it to be very lightweight with a very puffy skirt, so let's make it. Okay, this is the finished base of the dress. I think it looks really cute on her. And right now we are going to decorate it with flowers. I've bought different fake flowers for almost 100 euro. So now let's see what we can make out of it. And I'm going to use mostly white flowers and then I will also add some colorful accents. This is what I've made guys, check it out, I think it looks super cute, such a gorgeous dress for my flora goddess, really happy about it. But while I was working on her face and on this dress, I've ordered a bunch of photochromic pigments that are supposed to work the same way like her hair. And by the way, I have three different sources of UV rays in the house. And all three of them work a little bit differently. So first of all, I have this regular UV flashlight or torch from Amazon. 
and I don't think it works that well, honestly. It activates the red-pink color very well, and the blue looks also really good. But it doesn't really change the yellow, and the green doesn't really look green at all. It looks grayish-blue. Then I have this device, it's like a spot curing for your 3D prints, if you need to cure something tiny. It's quite powerful and it works visibly better than the flashlight, but anyway, it's not exactly the same, like the yellow, the green are not completely there. And I have my nail lamp and this baby gives the most perfect color activation of all three. Who would have thought? Now the yellow looks really yellow, the green is still grayish but it's better than we've seen before. So I'm really happy with the way this nail lamp works with these uh, photochromic pigments. Let's try it again on another side because it's so satisfying, it's like an ASMR effect, really super fun. Let's activate it again. Okay, now I'm going to mix these pigments with acrylic varnish to make like a photochromic acrylic paint and then I will cover most of the white flowers on her dress with this paint. And you can mix these colors as well, of course, to make like, for example, lighter pink or purple colors, so it's fun. Okay, now the flowers are painted and let's see guys what we've made. So cool, so cool really. I'm in love with this effect. It's really something new, something different, really fun. So now I think the dress is finished, it looks really good, so now I can finally blush her body with soft pastels to make it the same color like her face, and then I'll still add some tiny details.
Okay, the face and the body look good together, now they look like parts of the same person. And now I want to add freckles to her face and to the body using these photochromic pigments. So she will look pale without sun, and once some UV touches her skin, the freckles will get activated and come out. So pretty much like in real life, I think it will be cool. And I also want to add a touch of this paint to her lips. And guys, let's see how it all looks under the sun. Yes, gorgeous, love it. Not too much, but it's really beautiful, absolutely happy about it. So now I can put the dress on the body, let's enjoy the color shifting effect one more time and then we'll work on her hair. I think I want to give her a very fluffy curly ponytail, then all this color shifting will be happening like close to her face and not somewhere in the waist area. And yes, I think it looks super cute. She looks absolutely adorable with it. Let's just change the color one more time to see how it all works. Magic. <laughs> it still feels like magic. So I will decorate her hair with a couple of flowers, attach false lashes, add gloss to her eyes and lips, and then we're almost done, guys.
or she still needs a pair of shoes but I will not over complicate this step today because nobody will ever see her shoes under this puffy dress so I will use this original Monster High shoes and I just want to turn them into sandals like I've already done with this one and then we'll take a look at the end result pictures guys and this is the very first color shifting doll on my channel I don't know this is probably the most expensive doll I've ever made because the hair the flowers and the color shifting pigments cost me something around 250 euro in total so I would really appreciate if you give this video a like so maybe it will get some more views and I will get paid back for all these materials in such a way but even if I don't get this money back it doesn't really matter because it was still absolutely worth it it was worth of every cent I spent on this doll because this doll looks absolutely beautiful and super unusual for me for my channel like this color shifting effect is simply amazing I don't know I should make more dolls like this so guys if you have any good ideas for color changing dolls please let them down in the comments because I want to make more dolls like this in the future and I still have all these pigments left and I still hair for sure for one maybe even for two dolls so I'm waiting for your suggestions and this color shifting doll is right now for sale on eBay so you can check the link in the description box under this video if you want it the only thing that I still want to notice is that you shouldn't let this doll in the Sun especially not for a long time because the special effect will stop working after about yeah, 24 hours probably in the Sun so better use different UV lamps shortly to activate the special chromatic effect so guys and that was my doll transformation of the week I really hope you've enjoyed it today and if so please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes of course subscribe to my channel hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos and I will see you very soon maybe in a week maybe in two weeks in my new doll repaint video have a nice weekend love you guys bye